people, 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 people. Que pasa, saca, say what they do. Now the first part of the video is about the four men that were in the notorious video. We are speaking about the viral video. Basically flossing, basically taunting, basically displaying their lack of gunmanship. Now, based on the information, it is said that at least three of those persons are now in the custody of the Popo. We are speaking about two minors and they are at the Metcalf Street Juvenile Detention Center. And also a 20-year-old person and his name is Desan Barry and he is in the lockup of the Popo. We are talking about the big yard. Now, people, it seems as if it is less than 24 hours before the Pope. We are talking about the JCF made the announcement on their website. We are talking about on Instagram. In this post, the head of the JCF, we are talking about the top Pope. He made it abundantly clear that they need to give up themselves immediately. We are talking about the parent. We are talking about the guardian. They are supposed to give them up to the Pope as soon as possible. A S A P R L S, and when they speak about R L S, we are speaking about A S A P. We are talking about before them send the dogs them for you, pint blank and period. So, anyways, based on the Popo report, it is said that a fourth man is on the run, and he is also wanted for a condition of bail. Basically, he violated his bail condition by actually exhibiting his stupidity in this video. So people, the moral of the story is this, before them couldn't even get their 15 minutes of fame, before the Pope couldn't press send on Instagram, they are already in the custody and people, we are talking about 3 out of 4, we are speaking about 75% and the only reason why the next one is not also in the custody is because he understand that he violated his bail condition, so therefore he is not seeing any type of bail, point blank and period. The report also indicated that the tool that was seen displayed in this video is not yet recovered. So people, it seems like the actual gangster who owns this gun, he got wind of the situation or he heard about it on social media and him said to himself, I wanted them four little gun baggers. What type of idiot thing this is? Them boy are some wanks as they are some want to be gangsters. It is also said that the Popo also found out the location of which the video was shot. So just based on this report, it seems like the Popo is doing their job. It seems as if they are getting all sorts of intelligence. It seems as if they are getting all sorts of information. So people, it seems like somebody in the ghetto. It seems like somebody that lives in that area we are speaking about in Rollington town where the incident actually occurred. It seems as if they are snitching. It seems as if they are doing their civic duty. It seems as if they want better for their community because people like me say less than 24 hours was after the incident was exposed on social media it went viral it is out there and these four persons basically almost in the popo custody we are talking about three out of the four we are talking about 75 percent the report also indicated that the 20 year old man we are speaking about this and barry r barry he was turned over to the popo by his family members and he is from Rollington town so people we are talking about it seems as if the relative we are talking about the family the mother or the father they took heed to the popo warning because people like the popo say make sure them turn over themselves immediately we are talking about our else now people when they talk about our else are immediately they are sending out a warning they are sending out a clear message that they are serious about this case they are serious about this viral video they are going to make sure that they set an example and people who can hear they are going to feel and if you don't turn over yourself they are coming for you and when the poor poor come we are talking about some bad boys bad boys we are speaking about everybody in a problem we are talk about people d-e-a-d -E like bounty killer song now people you understand that as it pertains to this channel i get all the viral videos first before any other blogger point blank and period 
However, when I got this video maybe about three days ago, I basically ignored it because it seems as if our next video that I've seen maybe about back in 2019 and the next one we are talking about a copycat syndrome. It seems as if this was a next set of you that just looking for some hype on social media, looking for their 15 minutes of fame. So basically, I ignored it. I said that this must be some little youth from some other little island we are talking about Barbados or St. Martin, Rete, Lele, Blue, Blah, Bling. This could not be Jamaicans and people when we listen to them accent, them sounded kind of different. They sounded as if they had some sort of different accent because them kind of sound nervous. They did not sound like the stereotypical gangster. They did not sound or handle the tool like other gangsters would because we saw them fumbling. We saw the magazine all over the place. Them kind of look iffy. So people, this is not a disrespect to no other sort of island, but just as I say, Jamaica's level of badness is on a whole different level. It is on a whole different plateau. So people, don't get it twisted, don't get it misconstrued. I am not trying to glorify or highlight the bodies in a Jamaica. Me does I say it different from them other island. And based on the culture, I was surprised to know that these are Jamaicans. I heard the accent and I said to myself, they could be Jamaican. However, just based on the level of stupidity, just based on the level of buffoonery that was displayed in the video, I said to myself, more than like it, the possibilities are, the probabilities are, they are not Jamaican people. I was wrong. Point blank and period. Now, people, like I said before, the Popo says that the tool is not yet recovered. We are speaking about the tool in the video. So, people, may just as say, for the safety and security of all that were involved, we are talking about them family. We have to also understand that there are consequences to their action because, people, it is a known fact in the ghetto. If you lose them tool, people, your family have to pay for it. We are talking about full price and even sometimes you have to pay with your life. So, people, if them end up making these people tool, we are talking about them better hopes that the tool belong to a family member. We are talking about one of these persons might have been a family member of somebody that is an actual gangster in the era. That is the only reason. That is the only sort of pardon. Because people like me say, people are going to pay feed point blank and period. If it was indeed missing without a shadow of a doubt. When I also take into consideration the level of buffoonery that I've seen being displayed by these new millennial, we are talking about them gangsters. I should not be surprised because we see that these new level of gunmen, they are acting literally like some crackhead. We are speaking about they are acting like some stupid monkey. They are acting as if they don't know any level of badness people they are taking the level of badness in jamaica to a whole new low we are speaking about it has plummeted on people i am not glorifying badness in jamaica me just as say we are seeing a new law we are seeing some different type of persons point blank and period now people before i could finish editing this video i got some new news we are speaking about some more update it is said that all four men that was in this viral video they are now in the custody of the popo and people before earlier in this video i said that one of the 20 year old person he turned over himself by his family his family basically take him into the popo station people it was one of the minor so people the fourth person that i spoke about in this video that was basically on the run he basically turned over himself to the popo and people like me say he was also wanted for a condition of bail however i guess somebody in his family we are talking about the mother the father the papa somebody talk some sense in him head because people like the people them say turn over yourself immediately or else and people me don't explain what or else means it means bad consequences we are speaking about the worst case scenario so people this is good news because people like me say before the popo could press send on instagram and basically announce that they were wanted three of them were already in the custody of the popo and people we see the last we see that the fourth one he is also in the custody of the popo and based on information that i got it is said that 
all four of these persons are troublemakers in the community. They are well known to the Pope, and it is also said that two of them, they are also a trouble to them family. They have other cases in the court where I talk about where the family basically report them and basically send them go to court. So people, we are speaking about some set of youth, we are speaking about some minors, and we are speaking about some persons in their early 20s that are off to a bad start. And based on what we see being displayed on social media, it is obvious that they are not going to go too far in this bodies. More than likely, they are not going to make one season. And more than likely, they are not going to be Hall of Fame bad men, point blank and period. So people, the good news is that it started kind of bad and it kind of ended well. We see that justice can now be served. And we see that the Pope basically put down their foot and they got the information. They did their investigative work and then basically capture everybody and who they did not capture they were basically taken in by their family member so people as well that ends well and hopefully these person instead of getting their 15 minutes of fame that they wanted on social media them can get in excess of about 15 years and kind of put them away make them think about their life make them basically structure them life and get them think proper in order point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up